This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I have been wanting to start on this project for a while now. It hasn't taken priority. I feel like hallways are so undervalued. Well, well I'll have been anyway. Welcome to a beautiful hallway. It may be a little bit echoey because it's really got nothing in it right now. And it's a very tall space. If you're new here, you may think, what happened? Great on top, terrible on the bottom. We initially planned that we were gonna do some beautiful paneling along the bottom half, but have come to the decision that we have so much of the rest of the house to do and quite a lot of hallways that we're actually just gonna board it over and plaster it. This window is also gonna be changed. Don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is so, so dirty and we obviously can't get to it because it's just a concealed piece of glass. So we're putting in and we're in keeping slash window that tilts, which means we should be able to get to it and clean it. My job for today, however, is to start on the staircase. Now I did have a little go at this a little while ago. You can see this one step that I tried. This is a big job, a big semi-boring long night job. And I've been putting it up. <laughs> Also, in my defense, I did also scrape this one panel of this one. So I've tried. And also here, you can see, I've done a few patches every now and then. But a few patches is going to be nothing on this. So because I quite clearly don't want to get on with it, I thought, hey, maybe a new tool, a new way of doing it will help me out. That is exactly what I've done. I have bought a big tub of Peel Away, which is basically a paint stripper to try and make my job a little bit easier. We've obviously tried to remove a lot of old paint within the journey that we've been on in this renovation. We first started with a heat gun. I detest heat guns. So many people say use a heat gun. Number one, it just, it smells dreadfully. I'm sure this will too. But it just like, it mushes it all up. This might do. But the whole experience with a heat gun was not positive. We then moved on to a wood scraper. Actually no, before the wood scraper we did try a few paint removers. But the products have changed so much throughout the years, kind of with healthy health and safety guidelines, that for us, we didn't feel like they really worked. Then we moved on to the wood scraper. Now the wood scraper is brilliant. I would say it's by far the best way of doing it. It removes layers of paint in one scrape without getting too messy. The only thing is that it does kick up the dust. So if like us, you're in an old property, and you've got potential of um, lead paint, you have to wear a mask. We've got asbestos grade masks, which I will be wearing today anyway. So you may be saying, why aren't I using the wood scraper today? <laughs> because <laughs> I've got the weakest arms ever. And if Ollie had more time to do this, it would be the best way to do it. But unfortunately, he doesn't. So I'm left with it. And that is why I have been doing little teeny tiny chunks at a go, which is gonna take me forever. So we're gonna give this a go. I basically put on a little patch here last night to test it so i'm hoping we're going to reveal it and it'll work work really well and by the end of today i want this pretty much whole staircase covered so that i can start removing it tomorrow well these gloves <laughs> are far too big for me i've started picking this off don't know if you can see it looked kind of a bit like a brain under there um And then I've got this scraper here to take off the... Okay, I'm quite impressed. It's come right off. Like, pretty easy as well. 
now I'm feeling excited. Let's get suited and booted and get this on. You can see there just how well it's come up. So you're supposed to also wipe it off so more of that product could come off. But it's literally just, as the name says, peeled away. Which I can tell you was a lot easier than what I was doing with this step. <laughs> this is just one tiny patch that I sanded. Oh, I really did try, guys. Um, but this, I mean by tomorrow, potentially, could this be done? Well, not finished, but paint gone. I've decided before I get too messy, I'm gonna cut up all of the sheeting to the right size because I think it'll be a pain to be putting it on and off my gloves. I'll probably learn a bit from this. And I wanna be able to utilize as much of this stuff as possible. done all of the stairs with the paper so it's all ready for the product to go down and now I'm gonna get my gloves on and get going While I paced the stairs, I thought this would be a great opportunity to tell you about Squarespace and show you some recent updates I have done to my website. If you've been following for a while, you know Squarespace have been long-term sponsors and a big reason why we can continue to do these renovations, so a big thank you to Squarespace. But that's not the only reason why I love them. They are the all-in-one website building platform, which makes it effortlessly easy for you to create your own space on the internet. Just yesterday, I gave my site a little refresh. I added my recent YouTube videos to the homepage. I reshaped the little hello section and I changed the color of the theme to this gorgeous green here, which I love. And as someone who isn't into tech or coding, their platform makes it so easy for me to do this on my own in my spare time. So if you're looking to create a space online, whether it's a brand selling products or a skill you want to share, Squarespace does a free trial where you can check out the platform, see just how easy it is to make your own website and to go live onto the internet. And when you are ready to publish that website, you can use my link, which I'll put on screen here, to get you 10% off your first website or domain. It's a great opportunity to turn your side hustle into a business or create that website that you've been thinking about doing for a while, but I would highly recommend checking it out.
about 20 hours later. I didn't check in yesterday because the builders arrived like mid when I was in it and they were looking at the bay window roof in there and also our attic. So I did that and then, you know when you stop something and you're conscious of it, I'd wash my hands before answering the door to the builders. But then I kept having these thoughts like, what if I've got it all over my hair and my hair's all gonna fall out before the wedding? And like, what if I've got it somewhere on my face? I hadn't, I'm, I'm still here, I'm still okay. Um, yeah, so I showered. <laughs> but I had used the whole tub and I'll show you how much the whole tub did. So I got all the way to the bottom of these stairs and I could do all the sides. I also managed to do this one and these and this little bit here but I'm gonna definitely need another tub to get through all of these pieces if it's worked. So I'm eager to take all of it off today. I mean, it looks like it's worked. And hopefully if it has worked, then I will go ahead and buy another tub straight away. And I'll also do all of the skirting boards and all of these fiddly bits. It'll be excellent for these fiddly bits. It was messy, not quite as messy as I expected, but the gloves were a nightmare and I think they were actually more dangerous. You might have been able to see in the footage. I was like trying to put them back on my hands, they kept falling off, they were falling into the bucket. So I've gone and just got some, I don't know if you can see it down there, some rubber gloves for clearing it off today. I'm probably gonna like layer up with them because this stuff will burn your skin, which obviously I don't want. So yeah, I'm gonna mask up, protect up again and get it off. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Then after that, you have to put the neutralizer on and scrub it down a bit. So I've also got some scourers as well. I really, really, really hope that this has worked and it's gonna be the route that I do for the rest of the stairs. Well, that took way, way longer than I was expecting. I finished at about three o'clock. It's about four o'clock now. I've just had my lunch. Um, what should I say about this? It's messy. It's real messy and it's nearly impossible on so many layers of paint to get it up neatly. However, I have just bought another big tub of it. So the conclusion that I've come to is it's amazing for more fiddly bits. For example, these bits here that would be nearly impossible for a scraper to get into. And so I've bought the next one for these because they're hard with a scraper. However, <laughs> probably for the straight bits, I'd say it's still easier or better to do with a scraper. It is going to be difficult though because you need an um, like a asbestos grade mask and you need to make sure all of the dust has been hoovered and you're obviously not breathing in lead paint so that's a bit of an issue but just look <laughs> it looks so scary now i don't know it definitely looks more messy than when i started and in some places weirdly it just didn't come up very much oh it looks good doesn't it it's like that in-between phase. <laughs> it kind of looks worse than when you started. Oh my, oh my, oh my. It's looking pretty scary. 
And also I think, because I was trying to save myself a few pennies, that tub probably should have been used on like maybe like half of the stairs because the in the areas where I put on a lot more, it worked a lot better. So it's a pretty expensive process. I'm going to be honest. I ordered the um, tub, which is three times bigger than the other one. That's 105 pounds. So I don't know. It's, it's also just not an ex like it's an expensive process to be doing. Basically, I I think in conclusion, there is no good way of getting lead paint off. There's certainly no easy way of getting lead paint off. Left my things neatly here and couldn't find my mask anywhere when I came back to do the paint stripping this morning. So I called Ollie and I was like, where did you put it? He said, oh, I tidied it away right next to the chop saw. Seriously, look how dusty it is now. Please, did anybody see any sense in that? Because I'd love to know. Why, why, why? There's probably going to be a lot of Darth Vader sounding footage. Thanks to this one, which is now clean. I want to get it done today. I want to get all the paint gone from the stairs. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. I don't know why I'm talking <laughs> through this. Um, no, I'm wrong. I'm going to leave it a little bit shorter today. So I'm going to put it on beginning of the day and hopefully take it off the end. I think that's why. I think some of it may have started drying in last time. But I'm actually really determined to get these stairs done over the next few weeks and months and when they're finished off. <laughs> I can't take my this top now. It's so heavy. In fact, let's just skip to the good part. Looking like an egghead because it's day 10 million jillion of stripping the paint. And I got my nails done today, so it's exactly what I want to do with my day. I've hit the point of, I wish I never started this job. But it's going to be so worth it. It's really coming off well. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. But we've also had this with this one, which has been a pain. Obviously this stuff I think was underneath and that has been dripping down and terrible for my paranoia so I'm wearing a hood today and I'm going to wear it up because I obviously don't want any of it dripping onto my hair. I look beaten. <laughs> I feel it. And I've made a mess pretty much. I'm actually not sure where to go from here. For some reason it doesn't want to focus on this bit but I've done this section here looks a bit messy <laughs> this section here messy these i still haven't done i'm toying whether to just scrape them but then this bit here went just brilliantly like it came off so easily and yeah it was kind of flawless and then <laughs> i can't reach this bit so i can't do this bit but this bit has all been scraped off and cleaned and it's like actually this bit isn't too bad like i think this especially down this area just needs a quick sand and then it will almost be ready to stain and paint and then these bits here 
I don't know. I'll be honest. It just looks like a mess. It's, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I can take the fact that it looks like a mess, but I'm just not sure where to take it from here, whether to sand. Um, these bits especially, they'll be easy just to, this is literally really quickly scraping it off. And I did end up scraping off a little bit more of this one here. And that one there is looking brilliant. It's got like nothing on it. I just scraped that one a little bit too. So that is week one of the stairs and where for now I am leaving it. I actually still have the weekend, but I wanna get this video up for you guys tomorrow. So week one still hasn't kind of finished. I'm gonna carry on over the weekend. I've learned that doing jobs intensely is the best way to do them because else I just end up not doing them. And also if you've noticed that I've left, like these, this one, this bit of skirting board here I have left because we'll actually be taking that off and just replacing it with new skirting board. But these bits here, because they're built into the stairs, we literally can't get them off and replace them, so we have to do this process. So I reckon for me at least it's gonna be maybe like a month long process of the stairs. It's definitely gonna be another week of getting rid of the paint and sanding potentially, and then another week kneading it up and then painting and staining so yeah i'll i'll be finished hopefully in a month's time <laughs> and i kind of already want to finish so that's great but a big thank you for coming along with me actually i was thinking today whilst i was doing the stairs i was like how lucky i am to be able to share this because for some reason having you guys makes the process so much nicer like I'm thinking about documenting it and I think it encourages me to do it and your lovely comments and just kind of feeling like you're there. And I know that may sound really weird because obviously you're not physically here, but I feel like you're around for some reason. I don't know. It's just nice. It makes the process a lot nicer for me and keeps me going. So thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for commenting. Thank you for liking because I'll be honest, this staircase would have never have been done without you guys. So I will see you guys in the next one, which don't worry, I'm not gonna have like four solid week of stair refurbishing. I'm gonna have different bits dotted in between. Can you tell that I'm tired? I can barely hold my arm anymore. So I'm gonna say a goodbye and see you next time. Bye. It looks so terrifying right now. Yeah, you can be honest, that, that looks better. The, the before looks better than the after right now.